Hey guys, it's Ben from Curry's, and today we're having a look at LG's A1 TV. Now it's brand new to LG's OLED range, and it is a stunning all-rounder. We're gonna have a look at a few different things. So LG's self-lit OLED technology, it has an Alpha 7 Gen 4 AI processor 4K, and we're gonna have a look at the vivid cinematic gaming and sporting experience that you get with this TV. So I'm gonna head over to the studio and the lab with my colleague Cindy, and we're gonna give it a test. So here we are at the studio and we've got our two TVs set up. On the right hand side, we have our standard LED TV. And then on the left, we have LG's new A1 TV with OLED technology. And the reason we have them here is to compare the two different types of technology. Okay, so let's talk about the LG self-lit OLED technology. Do you know, it's really interesting because when you look at this, you can see, I mean, you can really see the difference here. But with LED, you've got that one power source of light shining through. Let's just say, for example, the screen is here and you can see that slight greyish tone. And with the OLED, you've got the screen and multiple sources of light shining through. And what it does is it basically switches off in the dark areas, the black areas, and it gives you that absolute pristine. Look at that. Yeah. You can see all the people in the crowd just there. It looks so good, yeah. the detail. And that's, that's a really great way of describing what's happening. So obviously on the right hand side, you have kind of sort of a blanket source mm. of light. With this, the pixels themselves are lit in their, I want to say millions, mm. which means that you're going to get whatever you're watching. If it's a movie, if you're playing a game, if you're watching a match, the things that are dark, are, that are supposed to be dark, are the bits that are, are turned off and it looks amazing. Mm. So the, the crew have sourced a colorimeter I like Sound, that name. Yeah, so do I. It sounds like, meter. Yeah, someone was just like, hey, that's what we're calling it. <laughs> um, this is designed to give color readings on things. So it gives what's called a lab readout. L for light. So zero is pure black mm. and 100 is pure white. So the darkest thing I think in this studio are these blackout curtains here, right. which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test and get a reading on for the darkest thing we can find in the studios. Let's have a look at this. This has been really interesting, actually. So pressed up against the curtain. Right, that is a reading of 13.54. Now, we're never going to get true zero unless we're like in the middle of space or something. Mm. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to compare the footage of what is, what is considered black on the LED and black on the OLED. OK. 31.5. Feel like I should do a drum roll here. Go on. Yeah, what is that's, it? So that's 31.54. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So the curtain's 13. That's 31.54. And then on the OLED. Go on. Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> 17.35. That's really good. That's so close mm. to just the curtain. Mm. If you have a look like from an angle, yeah. what the, because the OLED is is self lighting, you can see the difference in the color quality. That's really good. Next, let's talk about the Alpha 7 Gen 4 AI processor 4K. That was a bit of a mouthful. Okay. Uh, we've got them in the end. But with that, it's really about the brain in the TV, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. So we've spoken a lot about like how much is happening in terms of the picture. Mm -hmm. And you need something to kind of round that all up. So what this is doing is it has deep learning algorithms, which assesses what you're watching yeah. and then optimizes the screen for that content. I mean, look, the, the chip in this TV here gives it enough color to create what you're seeing here, that beautiful solid blue. It's just crystal clear, isn't it? Mm. Now, if you have a look at this one here, you can see the banding. Yeah. And that's the AI chip at work. It's, it's figuring out all of the, inform the information mm. and putting that color in there. Okay, so all in all, it's got vivid cinema, gaming and sports experience. Absolutely. Mm. And when we talk about experience, we're not just talking about the picture, that sound as well. Mm. And the sound is taken care of by Dolby Atmos. And so if you've got a sound bar or a speaker system, it's gonna take care of all of that. Dolby Vision, which some people might not have heard of, does the same thing, but with the picture. So whatever the director's intent, that's what you're gonna see on the image. Yeah, then you've also got Dolby Vision IQ as well. So what this does is it basically brightens up the screen in accordance to the ambience of the actual room as well. Very yeah. clever. You can mm. also stream everything. Uh, LG has its own web OS smart platform, uh, which you can access through the remote or by voice command. It's got Netflix, Now TV, Freeview Play, Disney Plus, have I missed any others? Prime so video. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got all of them. So if you're interested in LG's new A1 OLED TV and you want to find out more, you can visit us in store, head online, or speak to one of my colleagues on Shop Live.